Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Yeah, y'all know what's going on, man. FBG, brother. Y'all know what's going on, man. JT Martin, man. We gonna call folks no name on first grade. You ain't put folks name out there. <laughs> not that. Not that. Not that. <laughs> he in there. I ain't got no mic. Just say your name, cool. You hear it? He ain't fucking in that. East, South, North, and the only person missing is a nigga from the West Side. Oh my daddy. Oh, look at my son, Batman, in here. Mother, what's wrong, man? <laughs> Buddy, what you on, guy? Shit, I'm trying to get to this like a meal on my daddy, but you know, <laughs> you really stopped me on my daddy. Now I'm just you know. What you eating over there, Cole? What your meal size like? Nah, what you eating over there? Who, me? Yeah. On oh, my daddy, you can't even play like that, boy. You know I wouldn't have got my fan, but it's tiny beef, nacho cheese dripping yeah. out that bit. You know what I'm saying? And if, he ain't, if it ain't come with hot pepper, you got to... Go get that bitch out of the container and dump that bitch with hot pepper in there. Tiny beef, nacho cheese, extra hot pepper. <laughs> oh, my dear. No. Nah. <laughs> oh, bro. No. Nah, Tiny beef and pepper. That's what they said, huh? Funny shit up. Damn. Damn. That was gonna have one on the table. I got some chicken over here, some seven up. What you eating, man? I got, I got some JJ over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm seven up. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, tell us about the Italian beef and peasant, man. You know. What make that meal so special? That's my favorite meal on, <laughs> on my baby. So you know what I'm saying? Lil Gay ran with that. He, he cracked him a little funny off of Because anybody who ever hung with butter, that's why it's a funny. It's, it's, it was really an inside, you know. So, cause anybody who hung with hung with me or hung around us, they know like we going that bitch home. We at a restaurant, and we gonna get that time beef nacho cheese with the hot pepper. We gonna don't forget the nacho cheese on my daddy. What the rappers call it? The struggle meal. That's the struggle. Who gave me? No matter. I get that bitch two for ten at certain restaurants on my daddy. Give me one for me <laughs> and my bop. Last song, fuck! I just think I'm fucking out of dub. Oh, what a smack nine in the tank when they got a loose square. We gonna go get both of us a tight beef. Baby. Don't even worry about it. Anything come from fry pop. Come on, dead. That's funny. <laughs> FBG butter in the motherfucking building, man. Welcome to DJ UTV, bro. I'm blessed to have you. Man, you know what I'm saying. I'm blessed to be here to come on this bitch, bro. For sure, this the, I ain't gonna lie, this is the first interview where, you know, we were down there getting that mukbang flow. You know what I mean? So we gonna take it from the top, man. Uh, they ain't really eating, B. FBG Butter. Born and raised on the south side of Chicago. For sure. You know. STL. 6200, baby. Not 63rd, but 62nd. I'm from the Deuce. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really from Jaro. Always have been, always will be, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm from Jaro. I'm from the Deuce. The Zoo. 63rd, just, that's, that's how the family, you know? I'm a Jaro City baby. STL crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because Jaro City always going to be my family. That's who raised you know? For sure. Okay. So tell us first. Uh, what was it like growing up on the south side of Chicago for yourself? You know, I, you know, we southeast, so. Now, hold on we, now. When you say southeast, hold on now. We southeast. You gotta think about it. Once you pass, once you pass Vernon, this southeast is east 63rd. Which, okay, right. That's if you ride transportation. That's if we being technical. Right. You know what I'm saying? The south side, once you go on the other side of King Drive, Prairie, Calumet, Indiana, Michigan State, everything past that's just, that's technically the south side. That motherfucker being realistically. But yeah though. That shit was fun for me. I'm a zoo baby. You know feel me? I, I feel like I belonged in the zoo from the jump. So it was like a natural habitat for me. Especially with my brothers. Like, ain't nothing like when you Really run into a certain group of motherfuckers and you like, oh damn. 
They on my type of time. On my daddy. It hit different. So you say you was on, or uh, excuse me, they was on my type of time. What type of time were you on? That type of time. Work. But I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna be on the How that beef taste? Mm -hmm. That motherfucker heavy on the time beef meat. <laughs> 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 so at least they weren't stingy with it. They knew who they was feeding with that. They say this for who? Come! Get me there! Bless me! Bless me, please! I ain't fucking with these niggas. Open that look. Who are some of the notable guys in the Chicago drill culture that you grew up with? On SCL. Like. And hold on. What what do SCL stand for? St. Lawrence. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? We the St. Lawrence assassins for sure, for sure. But that ain't even the issue. But you gotta it's a lot of people that don't even get mentioned when they speak of STL, Jarro, EBT. Like you got Torns, AK Molly. You got that's a lot of motherfuckers who don't get mentioned of uh, who really, the, the founders of this shit, when they come to Jaro City, when they come to the little guys for TW and Jaro, for the dudes, Lil Mikey, Lil The Real. Motherfuckers don't sit RP side. It's a lot of motherfuckers that people really just like miss speaking of, because there's a lot of different stories out there, you know? It's a lot of different shit that like, hey, if he said this and said that, that'll bring more sense to this. And what I, Honestly, though, I really feel like, you know what I'm saying, God put me in for a reason. God put me around a lot of these brothers for a reason. And I ain't questioning why, you know what I'm saying, because in a slight way, we all find our way. We all, and that's what it's for. That's what, life, that's what life is about, finding your way in life, you know what I'm saying? Without finding your way in life, you know what I'm saying, you, you technically, if something was to happen to you right now, Without you finding your way in life, you become a lost soul. And it's just too many lost souls out here for real, for real. So I enjoy the people I'm with. I ain't questioning why they came around. You know what I'm saying? If they was here seasonal, part time, or whatever, before it's great, I enjoyed it. But for the most part, I love being around authentic people, and folks, great people who, who genuine. Whether if it's towards me or towards the person that they with that surrounded me, you know what I'm saying? That shit hit different, right? For so. It bring a different type of feeling. Tell um, us about uh, your sister, K.I. Is that your blood sister? I see K.I. tatted above your eyebrow. I got Kyrie tattooed on me five times. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't really obsessed with it. So is that, your, uh, is that your blood sister? No, nah, that ain't my mama daughter. You okay. know, different mamas. You okay. know what I'm saying? But our father, well, I was supposed to be father. For Top sure, shit, right? He, you know, but hey, hey, that's what's us, huh? GI Joe. Yeah. So you know, we 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 hear a lot about Ki. You know what I'm saying? Uh, A and E did a whole documentary about her. You know, that's a major cable network. You know what I'm saying? Let alone the stuff we see and hear on YouTube. You know. Um. But with you growing up closely to her, what are some things about her that you could share with us here on DJU TV? Kyra's outspoken. Very loving. I mean, like, honestly, you know, motherfuckers say she was rude, she was this, she was that. I mean, Kyra only gave you a part of her that you gave to her, like if your energy was a certain type of way, then her energy was, she was a certain type of way. But if you came off like the people she considered her friends, her family, her brothers, her sisters, you came like that and, it, and, and in real life, Kyra brought people that we ain't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like right now I got deep relationships with, relationships with people that 
I ain't, I ain't know until Kyra brought them around. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Lil George brought them around, or Lil P brought them around. Lucky. I, I can keep naming like everybody brought somebody around, and that somebody brought somebody. And you know what I'm saying? And we all came together as one. It ain't a, ain't nothing like coming together as one, for real, for real. And that's what everybody we really miss out on. And that's what she was really about. Like Kyra, her whole thing was yeah, whatever whatever you say about her, yeah, she was putting shit down, put my fucks under that under pressure. But for the most part. We started a lot of shit, but on first grade, we ain't kill nobody. Motherfucker came killed our homie, fuck. Motherfucker took somebody from us. So whatever a motherfucker got in return from her or any one of our deceases, that's y'all brought that upon y'all self. Because we could always kept that shit as a friendly brawl or just words. Um, bro, but when motherfuckers started picking pipes up, granted, yeah, we probably was the ones, the first ones to, sh to crack a shot, but... When motherfuckers kill them for that shit hit different. Everybody take deaths a certain type of way. Everybody feel a certain type of way when they lose somebody. So they only created what they they only start you know what they created. They created on their own. That's how I feel on first grade. That's just a so real tip. Who was the person that was uh, killed? That's you know that you that you speak of. You know you say you know say they killed one of ours first. Who was that? Who was the first L? Tuka. Okay. And they killed the motherfucker who? Why our whole hood took it the way we did was because Tuka went the motherfucker who? Oh uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, that's gonna slide. What's the low? Run a run. He not Tuka want that. That one Tuka. Tuka want the nigga who's trying to go slide. Oh yeah, with the ops out there. You tell Tuka the ops, I think he gonna tell you if I wanna go get the motherfuckers who play with guns on King Fella. And that's a fact. Folks in the air. If it came down to a fight, bro, in that little bro with that, he won no hoe. But Tuka wasn't even on the block with us. Folks was downtown, DT, living his life. Bring it, he bringing. Is I we didn't even know what the Zyke hoes was at the time. But folks coming on the block with real erotic hoes. I fucked my first Indian little, little piece of meat cause of, cause of Tuka. He downtown, bump some, bump her and her buddy them, they come to the block. We out there out the Sway Bay Bay. <laughs> Mufa don't even know what the Sway Bay Bay is. <laughs> they, what's the Sway Bay Bay? We all sit back a bitch. Oh my <laughs> dear. We, we, we fit Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely that first drink. That's Savaka. Come, Come on, man, we off the, we off the vac. 1800 or Savaka. Or, or, or the Great Goose. The Goose get a loose. That's a true story. No bad. No Come bad. Come on, man. No bad. <laughs> loose is a fucking goose. That loose it, man. Man. So, does that, when you, when you say, you so, so you say that Tuka was the first L. So that explains why we hear so many saying they smoking on Tuka because he was the first. Yeah, you know. That's where it, that's where it stemmed from. Yeah, because you gotta think about everybody else. Be, before Tuka, Jaro, Sammy Low, Hardy, Dalva. That shit was always some inside shit, outside shit, but some shit that wasn't too close. On. To what we had going on, not the shorties at, at that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Tuka was one of the shorties. You got to think of everybody else that I named before Tuka besides Dalvin was shorties. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it hit different for You got to think, we, we 40, 50 deep. Mm -hmm. all, sh all kids. We ain't including the hoes. We ain't even count the bitches. Just, just young men. So for, for 40 of, for, for us to go from, 40, from 50 to 49, Motherfucker, everybody took that shit hard. Like, what motherfucker don't, what took or died, we had old block holes down. Well, I didn't even gonna say old block holes because my cousin is, because my cousin is one, she was with, she was part of that bunch, um, bro, so can't say old block holes. But we had the females from the O out there with us. You know what I'm saying? They was at Tuka front of them. You know what I'm saying? Some of their top named females. I ain't gonna, I ain't gotta say their names, they chase it, none of that, but motherfuckers know who they is. You know, mo the female, they get out, oh, yeah, we was there. That's their that's they truth, motherfuckers was there. 
You know, it, so when it came to our oh, fuck Tuka, smoke a Tuka, it hit different. It, it really did hit different what for us, cause we looking at a lot of y'all like we looking at a lot of a lot of people like what the, you smoking who? You was just the same nigga in folks' face, mm. or you was just the same bitch at bro funeral. Mm. So it, it it make a motherfucker really think like damn. What's the next level to this shit? Type shit. What, 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 what we going from here? Type we, shit. Overall, all in all, two days before Tuka died, Tuka was sitting at Buka, Buka and Mama house. We was sitting that bitch with Buka, Big Brother Ronte. You see what I'm saying? D thing was there. McAdoo that McAdoo was there. It was me, Tuka, Ronte. We in that bitch. E Day had just dropped a song. Shorty done playing that shit. Tuka come in that bitch like, man, turn that shit out. And walk towards Ronte Room and Booker getting that, yeah, y'all got us fucked up. Woo, D and all. They all in that bitch talking shit. Uh, so when Tuga died to hear certain motherfuckers who we just, who, who motherfuckers just saw at my auntie career sitting in that bitch with us, smoking with us, now y'all all, y'all oh, also fuck Tuga now. That's why we getting that, oh, okay, because in real life, we the bullies. We, you know what I'm saying? And we don't get the, we don't get the recognition for it, neither. Neither do we even claim it at some point. Cause people look at it like, oh yeah, they've been on so long that they've been fucking their ops up since woo woo. And real life when motherfuckers really talk about that real thug business, we weren't really taking no losses until 2015, 2017, 2020. We weren't really taking no real losses. Who was really dying? Who really died? In real life. Kyra Scrap Tuka. Two two. This before the, this shit was really broke out. My fuck killed Dale Modell. Shorty them ain't even game bang for real. And they ain't no disrespect to them because they died because of some shit that we had going on. So it ain't no disrespect to Dale and Modell or they people. But it's an, it, when motherfuckers really think about like, oh damn, I can keep naming motherfuckers. Motherfuckers be like, damn, oh damn, butter. Y'all ain't claiming y'all did. Nah, we not six hundred. We ain't doing what. Oh yeah, just because he died and he was a goofy wing. Nah, I'll show you that because of our war. He was a casualty to what we caused. Mm -hmm. So, it, no matter how motherfucker look at it, he's, it's like a loss for us, but it ain't. You can't go kill a nigga that one killing people. You can't slide on a motherfucker that ain't slid on you. How, what, what sense do that make? Why would I be sliding on a motherfucker? I know he ain't never slid. What, what, what am I going to slide on him for? That don't even make no sense. You gonna get the motherfuckers who with that, the niggas who claim to be with that. You don't go get no more. That's like if I see a motherfucking old man or a height walking down the street, do I jump out the car just knock his shit out back because he's sitting out there? No. You don't do that to no, no young nigga either. You know who you know, you know what you know. You get who you get for. Motherfucker ain't killing no innocent bastard and we ain't got those on our belts, folk. So with folk them, they sitting down, folk them gone. Folding them dead, folding them sitting in jail for murders on that shit don't get talked about. Motherfucker ain't talking about how we got over 15 people sitting in Cook County right now for a murder on, on somebody from that way. Motherfucker ain't talking about how Rondo got on the stand on Scrap about the little Steve shit. <laughs> Motherfucker babyface got on the stand. The bitches stop from all them hoes. Motherfucker ain't talking about that stuff. The shit that get talked, that shit get looked over because it's the BDs. And ain't nobody mad at nobody because who you love. Y'all, everybody love who they love, bro. But it's a respect because a lot of motherfuckers ain't got nothing to do with us or what we got going on. But you said fuck Tuka, you smoking Tuka, woo woo. It hit different for us. Especially for the motherfuckers who really live in, uh, in a die for Tuka. Because before my baby mama died, Oh, that's how I felt. Shit, boy, you disrespect Tuka. You gonna when we see each other, we gonna I'm gonna die, you gonna die. That's how it's gonna go. And now I got responsibilities. I gotta have stability. I gotta be able to take care and provide for my daughter. She only got one parent. I got three kids though. You see what I'm saying? So it hit different, right? Oh my dad. Nah, for real. That, that, that's just real life though. That's. Yeah, that's hard. In your previous response, bro, you mentioned the name uh, Modell, you know, and most recent news came out stating that uh, King Von was responsible for Modell's death. 
Um, I, I, I did an interview with this guy from O Block named Jay Hood, and he talked about King Von being responsible for KI's death. And even in his response, he said, Ask Butter, he know. Man, what I know is, on my dad. Fine didn't kill guy. Period. That and I ain't saying that because Fine didn't kill Kai. Oh, took I, I got shot too. I was right there. I got shot too. I saw the motherfucker who popped us. He did. Oh, folks, gray. And it was grown niggas. And Aski. Oh, folks, gray. V Roy ain't had shit to do with that shit, fuck. That shit, uh, that shit a facade. But you gotta think about it though. Fon took credit for a lot of murders in real life. He said he did a lot of shit. I don't, I don't take no credit from niggas, bro. Feel me? Motherfuckers do what they do. Everybody do. Everybody live how they live, bro. But if a motherfucker come put that belt on a motherfucker, motherfuckers, he did not. Nah. So it ain't like you telling them. So, um, bro. And that's another thing. I just saw a fan and it was like, over 50 people tag me and that shit to my Oh yeah, the statement came out from Kyra shit, whatever. If Vaughn killed Kyra, motherfucker should say, oh buddy, you told on you told on Vaughn too. Hey, if I told on Vaughn, Vaughn would have been fighting Kyra Bird. I was a victim. You gotta think about it. Only reason no only reason why no charges pursued on Vaughn because when homicide came to me, I'm an I'm a, I'm a, I'm a live victim. They get that, hey, is this the person who shot you? And once I saw who they brought to the pit, I don't know. Hell no. Nah. And I ain't just say that because, oh, man, you know, it's supposed to be your team. You know, you ain't supposed to tell them for my fucking woo. No, it's, in real life, it wasn't him. Because there was a bitch out there, too, who she told, she told, told. She know who it was. She saw who it was. She told the homicide detectives who it was. You see what I'm saying? But don't nobody speak of her. Don't nobody. Her name not even in the paperwork. You know, Lil B. Gray, but she sat in the station. She did all that. She pointed about in the lineup, all that. And motherfucker don't speak. Motherfucker don't speak upon that shit. It's a lot of shit that don't get speaked upon. It's certain shit when a motherfucker favorite point out a little thing, a little part of a situation. Everybody lock in on just that little part. But a lot of that shit be bigger than just that. Just the box, cause you know it's always the box, and then it's the frame. You feel me? You feel like honestly, motherfuckers. A lot of people pay attention to what's inside the box. Some people pay attention to the edges of the box. Some people pay attention to the, to the outer per, outer part of it. It all depends on what your motherfucking vision is on folks' grave. It. Nobody am I in the frame. Nobody never am I in that bitch, bro. <laughs> the, you hear me? <laughs> Why did? You hit nobody, never am I in a frame, folks. It's always different, it, but. Motherfucker take what they take from it, um, bro. Right. Instead of sitting back and be like, okay, well, look, I ain't gonna take no side. I'm gonna look at this shit for what it's worth. You don't, you don't, honestly, in real life, we don't never get that though. Do we, do we ever do, get a person that sit down and be like, you know what? I'm gonna go and call that shit for what it's worth. Because that's that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Instead of, I understand, we all be on our little watch hours. Everybody want that little extra click, whatever, whatever. But when you when you say what you said, then that shit business, it's, it's a fact to it. And you ain't just saying it. You gave motherfucker the picture, the frame, and a, just, and a little choreography right. to the shit on my daddy. Motherfucker getting that damn. But that's when the motherfucker really using their brain cells. And I be fucked up, so don't mind me on my daddy, because you know I'm a pill patient. On my daddy, I do X. But sometimes it get the best of me and have me telling y'all what y'all need to hear for the moment. But don't always listen to what I'm saying. Because sometimes I be wrong. That's when my debates be with this bitch and a couple of other guys, because I be wrong. But I be feeling like I'm right in the way because I could have been wrong, but in that, in that same way of me being wrong, I was right just a slight bit. Just a slight. I ain't asking for too much. I'm my daddy. <laughs> no, I quit. Hey, that, was, that was my little jokey joke. <laughs> I 
Um, tell us what does FBG stand for? A Flyboy Gang original. Flyboy Gang. Flyboy Gang. So not Free Band Gang. Free, nah. I need to get a part of that though, my daddy. What if I did, and that's the real goat, like besides Wayne on my daddy, like future the real goat on first grade. He see this FBG shit, and he I hope he don't think all this shit just about him. On my daddy, gonna show us some love too. Cause we got that shit busting both ways. He free bag gang, we fly boy gang. We high on the plane somewhere. That's why we always been cloud boys because we in the clouds. We not chasing no clouts. We not chasing it. We just in the clouds. That's what you know. What I'm saying I'm fucking out here. They cloud boys. Listen to their name, they chase the clout. No, bitch, with that clout boy shit, bitch, we be so fly, so high, bitch, we be up here in these clouds, cooling on these planes with the gang. But they be lost on that shit, though. Oh, near. So, can you tell us what year FBG was formed? Like 2004. Nah, no, five. 2005, okay. Nah. No. Okay. 05. And when did you attach the FBG to your name? Like nine. Oh, nine? Oh eight, oh nine. Okay. You was pretty young at that point, huh? I was, well, I was just graduating in eighth grade. Okay, right. Okay, no, I was a freshman on my daddy on trip. Freshman high school? Hell yeah. That's when I graduated high school, so you jumped out the porch at a pretty young age. Who who introduced you to the street life? My cousin, saying He really, he, uh, he from our Prairie and shit, 59th. But you know that's 600 and them shit now though. But he from people, you know what I'm saying? People like okay. that shit. So when we hear it. FBG, we hear, we hear Butter Behind It. We oh, hear Young, we hear Dutchie. I did. We definitely hear Duck, FBG Duck, the right? biggest name. Um, we hear 63rd attached to it. Um. Can you tell us how important FBG Duck was to your community? I'm honest, like, most people might look at it like, oh man, Duck was just another rapper, right? But the overall fact of Duck was really the glue. Like, Duck wasn't just the glue for STL, Gyro. Duck was really the glue for everything that, that evolved us because without Duck, as we all, we slick divided. It still be a little love here, a little hate there, a little love here, a little shade there, right? And what Duck, his, like everything that Duck stood for was family. Like any time, like no matter what a motherfucker can say, like any videos, any that the people post to Duck in real life, Duck, would, he surrounded himself with at least 75, 80% of his family and plus the tag alarms, right? And I consider myself a tag along too, so nobody, none of you bitch ass niggas take it offensive. Cause folks don't be in a fillers, I'm all dead. So, but you gotta think about it. You got, you got a person who got fucking 75% of his family with him and 100% of the hood. Well, majority of the time, Duck say so was to say so. The verification or the quali the, the the qualification that motherfucker looking for that shit came from Duck. Like motherfuckers, my like well my situation in particular. Right. Everybody motherfuckers might look at it like, oh Duck didn't fuck with Lil J because Buddy got a baby by Duck's sister. No, Duck it it was bigger than that. Just me got a baby by by, by my baby mama. It was bigger than that because there was a lot of other shit that was done outside the light, behind the, behind the doors, behind closed doors, behind these, you know what I'm saying, the facade, the facade that people put up. You know what I'm saying? And Duck, he felt like shit, hey look, if I can step in the middle and make this situation not be that, be that, that's what he was, that's, that's what he did. Like, say you came, Folks came around, or folks that, or we, we came around with a motherfucker say we not from the hood, but we coming around because, hey, we gonna meet Duck. We know we good if, if yeah. Duck around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of people attached to us off that purpose alone, right? And there was shit happening What niggas was getting pipes, tucks, niggas, right? It was a lot of crazy shit that was going on, right? 
And Duck would be that motherfucker say, you, y'all, like, you ain't talked to Duck in probably like three, four months. Something happened. But it happened when it, and with, with Amon's us. Motherfucker called Duck like, hey, well, I, this is my situation. This is what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? The Duck in there, oh, well, all right, hold on, I'm going to call you right back. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker get they pipe took. And folks really fuck with you, though. He gonna make sure you get your bumper back. You get robbed. You probably don't get anything that you got robbed for, but you gonna get some. He gonna make sure you got what was what what, what was the the the, the, the value, What was more yeah. most valuable to you? He gonna get that shit back. For, that that's guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? And to have a motherfucker like that around a motherfucker that's not only okay. I know he he understood his role, but not only him understanding his role. He know how to play it at the same time. He want a motherfucker well like, okay, well, I know my role is this, but I'm gonna do the opposite from what I actually supposed to do. Duck was one of the motherfuckers like, okay, well, I gotta get this done. It ain't gonna get done if I don't say nothing. Or it ain't gonna get done if I don't do it. And he was making sure that shit was done. You know what I'm saying? Like right now to this day, oh bro, I do interviews and certain little shit I do. I didn't be like, damn, it had, had Duck not been like, Bitch, go ahead. Go ahead, right, right, right. I still be, bitch, what? Fuck that shit, bitch. Roll up, let's okay. get hot. Right, Boot right. up, suit up, let's get in it. Right. Let's slide, let's spin some blocks. Hi, I would have been, I'm then at 30. I would have still felt like I came home. I went to jail when I was 19. I went to jail as a kid. Oh, bro, I came home, grown as hell. Son, eight, daughter, seven on my daddy. What the fuck? Something to think about though, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm home, what, two ye- three years, my baby mama died. OD off a of, of fake perk. You know what I'm saying? It, motherfucker gotta step up, bro. Motherfucker had to step up to a plate. And I can honestly say that, had Dr. Dr. pushed me to do this, do that, little shit. Just, it, and granted, little shit, he. Come on, where you at, bitch? Woo, pull up. I'm finna do this. I need you. I, I want your face seen in this type of shit. Like, what it's called, pain. Where you say everything that I do is for my brothers. And when he, on that scene, when he say that, 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 that quote. Motherfucker got a ready pair. T- he, the cameraman put the camera right on me. He tell motherfucker, he let motherfucker know. That, but that was my. I was fresh out. I forgot to keep this in mind. Mm-hmm. I was fresh out. Mm-hmm. So that was that, yeah, bitch. Uh-huh. Th- this what we got going on. I'm stepping behind him. I'm stepping I'm up behind him. That was his, that was Duck Way. Well, bitch, okay, I gave you your very, everything exactly. else going to come natural, bitch. You is who you is. Exactly. You feel me? Man, I pay attention to, I paid attention to shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And at first, nah, I wasn't taking advantage of certain shit like that. J Main bitch ass too. He was he, he slight reason too. Oh bro, I want on no rapper shit. J Main call out the blue. Where you at? Oh, oh, oh Jaja. Ja. Pull up to headquarters. Woo, I'm fuck slide to headquarters. He got whole camera crew there. You got a song. Woo. At the time on the air, I I had recorded my first song. I'm like yeah yeah yeah. I got a song. He bitch that shoot. Woo. What's up with that pay pay though? But that's a whole different story on my dead. Nah. But yeah, Duck definitely was the motherfucker that kept everything together, bro, without. Everybody was like, oh, Duck was they bully, Duck was they muscle. No, Duck was our glue mm. on first grade. When it, our heart, like, when it came to it, Duck was, even if a lot of niggas can't admit it, Duck was the provider for a lot of these niggas. A motherfuckers didn't eat unless Duck fed them. A lot of people. And that shit hit different to be 20 some years old. 30 some years old, and you looking up to a motherfucker that's younger than you, or a motherfucker who you feel like, damn, we supposed to be in the same shoes. Mm-hmm. But he making sure instead of him smashing you down like a child, or little boy, or be little in the next man, he getting that, oh, bitch, look, okay, I did that for you, bitch, come on, now, let's do something different. What you gonna do now? Oh, bro, Doc made where his big brother, everybody was, had their own thing going. Right now, Doc going, one trade doing his own thing, I'm not a hater. Um, bro, and since we on duck, 
I feel freely to speak upon my trade because we talk about Duck. I probably never talk about this goofy again, but I gotta give him his credit. A motherfucker who took something that Duck built for him and took advantage of it, and he achieved it. He might not be achieving it the ways that everybody else wanted him to be like, oh, damn, one trade supposed to be doing this or the next motherfucker supposed to be doing this because this motherfucker was doing this or this motherfucker doing that. No, M motherfuckers was created the lane for a reason. And the lane that he was created, he taking advantage of that bitch. He in that bitch. He a swear about he and that. Everybody swear about it to other lanes here and that. But standing on dumb business. He's standing on three business. Hold on. Right. Now, when you say three, you just said three right now, right? And I'm glad I caught you at your pause because when I was watching uh, your status update interview, you know, he mentioned uh, Big Clout being number three, you being number 26. Yeah, I'm going um, to Right. What was so? What's to the jersey numbers? Can you tell us about those? That's like a. It's that was it, at first. It started off like it, it was. It was five. It was six of us technically, but it started off like okay, three rappers. Young, Dutchy, Duck. Duck was the singer at at, at, a, at this at this time. Okay. Young and Dutchy was the rapper. They was it, it was. So Duck used to sing. Yeah, yeah folks was like the, Usher sing. Yeah, like. Like T Pain sing <laughs> my daddy. Auto tune, no auto tune. You see right. what I'm saying? That was Duck Lane. Duck was the singer out the group. Young, young, fast rapper. Young, the fast rapper. Hi, highly quoted on, on, on what, what I'm gonna say. He used, he, he was highly equipped on vocabulary words. Oh, okay. On my daddy. He was good with big He had words. an extensive vocabulary. He, he, oh, my dad, you know, you look smart, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I'm so great now, look. Because you know I graduated, motherfucking, uh, from, uh, what's that class they call that shit? No, let me stop that. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about uh, your jail experience, bro. Uh, first of all, exactly how much time have you spent behind bars? All together, so I yeah. just yeah, yeah, all together. All right, for one case, I did a year. Then turned around, you know, my audio case. I was in and out of the DOC six months here, six months there, twelve months there, type shit. So all together, I probably said like nine years. And then you know, with the case of Lil J, I did what six and a half, six years, five, six, five years, six months. Exactly five years, six months, 14 hours, 11 minutes, 14 seconds before I hugged my mama and my kids. No cap. These niggas over here asleep. <laughs> that shit funny, I'm thinking like that. He just overcounted. So, so, so you said <laughs> eight years you spent. Now, nine. Nine. For sure. A strong nine. Okay, so one year you said, and then six in the, you said six months. You got it. Going well, back yeah. and forth. How long, how long, so how long was you locked up on the case with Lil J? Four and a half years? Five. Five and a half? Yeah, because I was supposed to get out. I took eight at 50. See what I'm saying? Right. So that's four years. Right. I ain't get out until a year later. So what happened? So all together I did, I was still sick. I had another case. I had to okay. go to motherfucking uh, Rock Island. Okay. I had a fair case in Rock Island, you know. I got to call some bogus checks, checks and shit. Louis was leaving the casino and shit. I was high as hell before I was asleep. Police okay. mic'd us. We in that bitch sleep. R.I.P. to Archie. That was great. So is it safe to talk about the case you caught with Lil J? I mean, shit, at this point, who in jail besides Shinda? Right. Was great, and they all on Lil J's side, so I don't even get no fuck. Okay, so let's talk about it. Uh, first of all, why is Roshinda still locked up? Roshinda still locked up because Mook told them people she shot him, fo. This is what the people, motherfucker gotta understand this, bro. We got a live victim, our victim is still here. 
So whatever the narrative of our victim painted to the state is what they ran with. You got to understand, Mook said what he said because Mook just killed the motherfucker, right? No, it ain't the, it ain't no police shit because he he got self-defense, oh, bro. He got self-defense. All he had to do was make a statement and tell the police what he wanted them to believe. And you got to think about it. Unfortunately, I, I really hate that I caught the case with the niggas that I caught the case with. Because had we caught that case, just us on some regular shit, we would have got a regular, we had a regular niggas charge and a regular person sentence, right? But we caught the case with Lil J. So whatever narrative that Mook painted to the state, because I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker said about me. But don't call me no snitch on Took if y'all ain't really telling who told. If you ain't gonna put Shinda, this nigga Mook, Lil J, if you ain't gonna say what you said, motherfuckers ain't gonna, cause I told motherfucker what I said. I told motherfucker, hey, boy, what? My homie got killed. What the fuck could I say? A nigga blicked my homie. I told, cause I told motherfucker they killed my homie. Folks did anywhere, anywhere it go. I'm a snitch cause I told them dead person. You know how many people tell them dead people? Every time a fucker get on camera and go live about somebody dead from their hood, who they killed somebody from their ops hood, they tell it. Oh my daddy, anytime you tweet a certain thing and you know you did it and you know that it's subliminal that you tweeted could lead you back to, 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 to point back to, hey, this somebody who did that, you tell it. Mm -hmm. I'm folks great, so you can't just point, you can't call me no snitch because a fag told you I'm a snitch. I'm a little bit great because it, all in all, on, on Scrap, have y'all read the paper? Honestly, have y'all read the paperwork? I read it. I read it a lot of times because I couldn't believe it at this point. I'm like, damn, you, you dropped my fake paper, paperwork and motherfucker call you out on it like, man, that shit fake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Motherfuckers just got to pay attention to how it played out because had motherfuckers never said, hey, that shit bullshit that you dropped the first time, the next five sheets would have never came. That's real shit. Real business though. Motherfucker got call it for what it's worth because on two, I got other sheets too. But it's people name who 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 ain't got shit, who really ain't got nothing to do with this case. They names in that paperwork. And, and up, in, in order to put that out there, I gotta involve other people, right? Who don't want to be involved in, under no circumstances want to be involved in none of this fuckery. Because in they eyes, this fuckery. A lot of the, a lot of people who who names and. You can know how the fuck they get it. They wasn't even now. How the fuck they got a statement in this case? You see what I'm saying? They getting that grown motherfuckers, mamas, aunties, uncles and shit in our case file. Certain shit that don't get talked about, talked upon. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it, let's talk about that that mamas part. I, wanna, I don't mean to cut you off, but I don't want to lose my thought. Cause you know Lil J accused you of telling on his mama. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that? What did his mama have to do with anything? His mama played the same role my mama played. At that, that's the period. But my mama just didn't do the extra shit that his mama did. His mama actually tampered with state evidence. Why? How, how the fuck did I tell on your mama? And in real life, dude. Yo mama uploaded a picture and said it was a picture that involved the case that we were sitting in, a, in jail fighting. So you're tapping with state evidence because in real life, yo mama, his mama, not the police, she, she not affiliated with no law enforcement, right? So the state looking at it like, how the fuck did you get a piece of my evidence to upload to social media? That's why Lil J mama went to jail. That's why Lil J got so much other time. Because we got off at the same time. A that 50, they came to Lil J first. Because Lil J was working with Domas in the county. Oh, the real facts on Tuka. You was with me when Vaughn was, me and Vaughn was DMing back and forth. Vaughn trying to send me money because niggas knew I kept shit solid when it came. Because knew what? If it really came to any pressure on Tuka, I could have came home. If I was going to tell anybody for I could have really came home, bro. Kyra did. I'm the only alive victim, bro. They was thirsty. I hit the feds. Lil J on took a grade. Lil J hit me in the room with the feds, bro. On Lil B grade. This is this is how we fell out on on my sister. What well, don't know. This is how the, this is how we fall out. He, that gave okay. That was just one thing. That was one thing with us. Okay, he gave saying your homie gay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
But what you gonna do to him? That's how I'm coming. What you gonna do to us? Woo woo. I'm in pop. I forgot to think about. I'm in population. My rapping in PC. My rapping ain't even here to protect itself to stand up as a man for itself. But I am. I'm the only motherfucker gotta deal with the backlash from what everything that Shorty got going on. It's all coming back on. Oh, the shooter. 2026, the nigga who he shout out in every song. You hide and you protect it. I go to PC, folks, and I'm gonna kill me. I ain't even worried about the ops. What the? What's up? We gonna bump what we gonna do? We gonna lock in the seal, but you gonna spend night with me. We gonna get it on. But in real life, folks, and I'm gonna keep, cause it, I know how I move. I move a certain type of way, so I know, hey, look, even if I move this type of way, if I do this and I'm flaw doing this on Lil B Gray, I move a certain type of way to stay out of harm's way. So, only I feel like it's gonna get me, it's my homie. And the way he was moving was gonna get me yak. It had I been moved that same way. I took, I didn't, I counted a lot of ops, I counted a lot of shit. Dealing with Lil J. Dealing with Lil J. All right now, to this day, I got don't like me because of that I did with Lil J. Or some shit Lil J did. And this is my dog. You gotta think about it. Or really look at it. How, what, for what it's really worth on Tuka. Shorty got shut out. Folks, the, the same way, the same way for lock me out, Shorty, Shorty got shut out too. And they took, that, in that. damn, he was butter? He got Tunchy here, Tunchy that, Tunchy. Fuck got to see me more and more and more and more and more. I ain't just him, my fuck saying my name. My name ain't just no block name. You see it? Mm -hmm. Now it's getting a little deeper now. I know for them on that, I know they shed you out, bitch, but they can't shed me out, bitch, because we out here. You shed me out, you shed the shooters out. And they, and a lot of our, our rappers ain't, our rappers weren't moving like that. Now they moving like them, they own little funds, now. They own little guns, now. Fuck, move like that, now. But back then, my come move like that. So when they shed him out, he he was smart. He getting that, shorty loved me, shorty junior love. He, he really fucked with me. So what he did, he cuffed me. Same. I do some niggas, I, I, yeah, he really fuck with me. I, I, I keep them niggas type, type niggas around me. But in real life, <coughs> the motherfucker can't say no flaw shit I did to Shorty. But when you talk to niggas outside, the niggas inside our account would be like, man, what's to, Le, what's to Butter and Lil J? I'd be like, well, Lil J did this to Butter, or Lil J said this about Butter. Lil J did this, and Lil J did that. I never hear Butter run and run and run until Lil J got caught with the First of all, Lil J got caught with a whole We went to jail on took a we in jail two weeks. The Red Montana upload with, with the upload of Lil J. If y'all paying attention, that shit going crazy for like three months, four months straight. The only thing they talked about, King Lil J, Clout or trans, the transsexual. This is what the, the actual word they was using, transsexual. Chicago rapper King Lil J, Chicago Shadrach Mumarine, transsexual, okay, cool. Picture, damn, Ja'Kyra Barnes, AKA KI, female assassin, brother, FBG Butter, tails on Lil J. All he from the, what? Not to do it, to do it too? I ain't even thinking about him being a big no more, cause I'm trying to figure out, hold on, how do you tell, boy? Right. Cause it real that 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 that's it. That's just real shit. Like and then he a favorite. No matter how we put it, no matter how we look at it, mm -hmm. whatever you wanna call him, he's still a Chicago favorite, right? So if he painted narrative, guess what? The million who believe every word that he say from his songs to his live posts, gonna believe what he say because it came out of his mouth. To the shit that I'm saying. Certain niggas can know, like, oh, that shit facts, that bitch, that bitch got on that said number facts, but they still not gonna be like, they ain't gonna get for that credit because guess what? The bigger name says something different. As long as the big name says something different on folks' grade, the narrative always gonna be what it is to what's said about that person against that bigger name get on the same level, or if not bigger, then the battlefield is even. Then that's why I said what I said when it came to the Lil Durk and Young Boy situation because we experienced that for a long time. We're playing with our idea, homies got all across 
the UK and it's volume, you know, what have the out of state, not even for Chicago, they not even for the United States. Mm -hmm. But they able to play with our idea, homie names, because the platform that Keith and Dirk and all these persons from Vaughn, everybody else, the platforms that they sitting on, they made it. Well, motherfuckers can do that type of shit. But see, now, look, they got one. But it, they, ain't got, they ain't in no situation like us. I take that back. Because we had five people stopping us from doing certain shit. Or we had five people just playing with our dead homie name, period, at a point, right? They got one right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who feed that same energy that they've been dishing out for years and they can't take it that one person is bigger than all the five persons that you all have correct type shit in right? a slight way in a slight way in a slight way a slight when it way. come down to it because in everybody eyes shorting them always the favorite they made themselves a favorite pick mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at one point, we were saying, oh, man, blackball this, and we can't do this because the bitch is this, right? It was like, cap. Real shit. But keep it alone. Forget that. That shit, cap. Ain't nobody blackballing them niggas. If they got good music, they got good music, they gonna get on. Mm -hmm. No. You got a motherfucker who, who outshine all of them in particular. Himself. His personality himself, right? He came out of that motherfucker. No. I'm being blackballed by these, by these, by these people. So, it, so, so the head come from somebody else. It's slight take a relief off us it, as a whole. Mm -hmm. Everybody who rather say I ain't from his camp or not. We all from the same camp, right? It take it take a relief off all us. Like okay, so we not tweaking. Cause in real life, a lot of niggas don't admit like oh damn yeah, the fans say what they say. The fan, but in real life, in the back of my head, man, that come and came in one too many times on my shit, on bro, it give you something to think about. Right, right. So, start thinking. So for to hear young boys say that they they blackballing him out the industry, it take a release off me, not because I'm a rapper. No, just stop rap. I don't I don't really rap because. Folks that really rappers and shit. And I like the groupies. Fuck what y'all say. I like the groupies. <laughs> on my daddy. I love the groupies. I'm for, I like having a bankroll on me. I like fucking on the groupie hoes. I ain't even gonna call them groupies. I'm just gonna call them nice people. <laughs> on my daddy. Nice people, for a, a nice set of, a, a nice group of women. Right. So, with you, you know, not really being too much involved with the music scene, where would you credit um, your name having so much clout to? Where did you get your clout from? All the rappers always mentions me. It smirched before you can say anything bad upon my name, right? You go back to all the old songs, being that from Young to Dutchie to Lil J to Duck, everybody got a song where they say number 26, Tunchi or Butter. You know what I'm saying? And I've been kicking ass through the hood. Before I thought I was playing with pipes or any of that shit. I was folding them, because folding them know if this bitch go up, we inside the club, that little nigga gonna drop him a We ain't got, he gonna put it out, guaranteed. And before, and it, it real, this is real shit. Before Cash came home and said what Cash said, Young was all on his live. Yeah, because Butter, well, I, I can vouch for Shorty. But y'all gotta think about it. Me and his brother, we passed some harsh words. I said some harsh things about my boy. May his soul rest in peace. Because and I'm not a, I'm not a rapper for I, in real life. I don't even understand the internet sometimes, y'all. For real, for real, bro. Because I've been gone. I've been I've been when the internet became the internet, bro, I was gone. I was locked up. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of shit I don't I don't catch on to, I don't function. You know what I'm saying? And folks in them like, hey, look, dude, you take it too, you take it too serious. You go too, you go too, you be too deep with this. Shit. And now I'm grown. I'd have been out long enough. I'd have adapted to this shit a little bit. Now I understand. Oh, bro, you see, I'm sitting on this bitch eating a tiny beef, drinking a Pepsi with y'all. On my daddy. Couple of minutes ago, I was just saying, for I ain't doing shit like that for. Ooh. 
You feel? But now look, we here having fun. I'm enjoying my favorite meal. With all the years you spent in and out of jail, bro, what's the craziest Cook County or you went to Statesville, correct? I was in Statesville. Yeah. yeah what's the craziest jail story you could tell us? The craziest jail, man. Y'all gotta think about it. when I went to jail for it was the crazy had just begun. Oh, bro, like everything that people talk about now. Oh yeah, they spinning the bus. Well, oh, when we came in, all that shit was just like it was. Everything was just spiraling out of control when we came in on the new like. But my crazy, my crazy experience was I was in Division One. I. I'll probably been there for like I had to be in jail for probably like a week. This was the craziest experience ever. Like this was I'm like oh. I gotta be on my P's and Q's in this bitch. <laughs> now I'm I'm sleep. I'm in the cell. I'm in the cell with one of the Latin folks. We sleep. All I hear is, best part of waking up is the moles in your hearts. Oh let me out. What the fuck? I, I, I roll over. And motherfucker, if motherfucker ever been in Division One, Division One, the walls is like paper thin. Steel, right? And then they got the bars, and it's your bed. It's, it's this bed, then this bed, then the toilet, the sink. Now, the nigga get whooped right here on the side of my bed. Now, my bed right here on this wall. Oh, the nigga who get whooped, he on the opposite side of my bed. So, I'm here, everything. You got the, the bars right here. When we open our eyes, the first thing I see is the bars. The bars right here. Right. They leave out the seal, the seal, though, behind the toilet and all that shit, right? right. So, it's like I'm hearing this shit in 3D. I'm, I'm, I'm sleep, but I'm woke. You feel me? The doors just roll. You know, motherfucker hit them doors, roll them. Doom, doom, doom. Okay, it's time to come out. Motherfucker still laying at the line. Let me right. keep my eyes closed a little long. Right, 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 right. <laughs> All I hear is the best part of waking up is the most in your hut. Boom, boom, doom, doom, bitch. Oh, he, oh, I see you. I'm on my dad. Get up. Oh. Sit at the edge of the bed. He and that bitch screaming to the top of his lungs, though. Now, I mean, I'm on the new. I'm like this. I'm getting it. Oh, hell no. What? I'm this what's going on in this bitch? I'm, oh. I'm, I definitely got to be woke with the doors open now. Oh, my dad. Shorty and that bitch screaming to the top of his lungs. My celly like. Now, my celly, he getting that. He ate for. On a D, fuck, get up, say. He ain't saying, get up, fuck. He didn't over there beating his ass, fuck. Now I'm like, I'm still like, I'm, I'm trying to process the whole thing. I'm getting that, what the fuck? He ain't fuck. Mexican buddy tweaking, fuck. And motherfucker ever been around any real Mexicans, fuck. I love the Mexicans, oh, no cap. And shout out to my boy Ghost Los. Oh, my homie. I love the Mexican, but fuck, he, he ain't fuck. On a D, fuck, get up, fuck. <laughs> what you doing? What? <laughs> Hold on, man. I ain't signing up for this shit. <laughs> My daddy. Hold on. Hell no. Nah. They and that bitch beating. They and that bitch beating shorty ass for at least like 10, 15 minutes straight. Cause he wanted the most. Well, you know, he did something foul. So can't nobody step in and save him unless it's really like a neutron. Can't nobody under the six save him. Unless it's somebody either under the five or under the six, you can really like, hey, hold on, wait. Y'all can't do that, brother. You know what I'm saying? Facts right. is facts. Right. Motherfucker got to be under that nickel to, to stop that beating. Right. You know what I'm saying? The six coming, that bitch is trying to stop that beating. This bitch going to fly. We in one. Everybody in this bitch looking at life. They, they, they ready to clap a motherfucker down. And they know they can't stay at one of their own, so come on your tough ass on and uh, stop that ass weapon and we run through. <laughs> they gonna clap your stupid. And folks, they gonna look at you like you crazy. Like, how you get in that nation business? You don't do no shit. Like that. They fuck around and help you. Now you just stabbed up. Cause you just got into some nation business. They didn't even concern you. Mm -hmm. Oh my daddy, I'm just sitting on my bunk listening. Like, damn, they ain't that killing him. Mm -hmm. He ain't that bitch screaming. The CO ain't shit. Oh my daddy, the boss. CO got boss too, so you know they shit ain't like they behind the, the glass. And they can't hear. They got boss too. They in there killing that boy body. CO don't even call the same. My daddy, he come out that bitch 
The Bulls got their phone. You know, the the Fimball got their phone. The, the Six got their phone. Oh my dad, they let him get the front of the line. He come out that bitch towel on his head. I'm like, what fuck you that? <laughs> oh. Oh, damn, babe. She, what? Oh, they just beat the fuck out this nigga. She, what happened? Oh, all I heard was the best part of waking up is the moles in your hut. Damn. Oh, too good. But what, make it, what made it funny to me was because the Folgers coffee, the Folgers coffee commercial. The best part of waking <laughs> up is Folgers in your cup. Oh, my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so just imagine just waking up to a motherfucker singing that, but they took folks out to about like the moles in your hut. Oh my daddy. That's funny as hell. It's beating his soul, fo. I'm like, damn, that was a good line though, fo. I swear to God, man. I, man. And that's some shit like you know, motherfucker can't make that up, fo. Right. Fuck him. Get that. He ain't make that up. <laughs> I heard you, uh, you know, um, I just did an interview with EBK Eski, you know what I'm saying? We did a trench view together. And a lot of the comments was coming in from your interview with Cam Capone. And they were saying, I'm here from FBG Butter interview. So it made me go and watch it, for real, for real. Like, damn, so what the fuck he say, you know? And uh, so you said, you said Eski was in there getting busy, huh? I did. If Eski said he whooped the nigga ass in jail, bro, give it to him. My <laughs> dad. That's just like, what fuck getting that? <laughs> hey, fool! <laughs> Girl, you gotta give it to him. Fuck. He said, oh, give my. it to him. Shorty. He said he whooped you. If he whooped you, he whooped you. He whooped you. It, 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 was tr- it was true, because, like, all right, look. Because <laughs> he said he stole my shoes. I couldn't claim that, because I know I ain't got my, I ain't got my shoes stolen, but. <laughs> You know, he said he took your sneaks. Yeah, that was oh, shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Him and Lil Ice from 600 was the shoe. Be- no, I'm lying. Him, Lil Ice from 600, and motherfucking Bubba from the Folly. Shoe bandit. <laughs> oh my daddy. Real live shoe bandits. Don't leave, don't take your sneaks off and leave your shit in front of your hut. Big Eski, if, if Lil Eski or Big Eski on deck, they fuck around, put your shit on, and they gonna, and they get up out of that. But Big, no, Lil Eski will get up out of that. Big Eski take your shit and stay. <laughs> oh my dear. Big Eski take your shit and stay. Oh, I, I'm, I ain't taking nothing from no nigga, fella. <laughs> Lil Eski bank yourself, go and get up out of that. He got a new sneak on his feet. He never care. You can say what he want. You can say what you want about him. He don't care. Then the little Mexican. Little Mexican. Fuck life on the street. Beat you up, take your shoes quick. What size is that? Come here. What the fuck? Damn. Little ice, little ass. I feel like that's what treacherous. That's the definition of treacherous. But you in the trenches. You in the trenches, though. You got the. We right. in now. This a vibe of the fittest in this bitch. I don't get no fucking. How many hundreds you shaking on commissary? On my dick. Because if. If you not a member in your bag too big, your shit get took. You got to understand. You got to be, you about to be locked in. Because if you ain't locked in and one of them members get on, you got to think about it. Per deck, five to six members a deck. You got to think about it. In real life, like, all right, when 600 moved through the county, when O-Block moved through the county, Lamron moved through the county, you got a motherfucker from Lamron, EBK, the folly, DOD, motherfucker. Everywhere, you got a motherfucker with DNF. Everywhere. But the, in the world, they, they all hang together for real. So a motherfucker really can't be like, oh yeah, they chasing it, they on, they on some jail shit. But in the world, they all be together, so they, they sharing story. Hey, bitch, you remember that night, Wool? So, so, you know, it is what it is. But that's how it was. When you move through that bitch, you MOB gyro motherfucker. 051. God damn it. Crazyville, Brick Squad, you might able to get smashed out of that bitch because every nigga you run into from the opposite hood, it's like five of them. It might be like four niggas from DOD over here and one nigga from the O, and that one nigga from the O on that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, it's four niggas from the O over here and one nigga from DOD. 
the niggas who we really into it, he ain't even, they ain't even on that. It's four, five of them, they ain't even on that. They just want to sit on deck with their homies and eat and cool they pile in. Making their jail time pass. It's the outside nigga, he, he want his name to, because in jail, right motherfuckers admit it not, jail is just like the real world. Now I fully understand that, because I just came from behind it. You definitely gotta break that down. So what I mean by that is, you know how in the real world, niggas will say anything or do anything for some clickbait, right? Realistically. Right. Fuck, it's, it's the truth. I even catch myself right. sometimes even doing it. clickbait. Right. Right? In jail? Do the same shit. Watch what you say. That shit ten times worse. Mm. Oh, folks, because in jail, <laughs> it ain't it ain't even just about the county. It's a, oh my, they want this bitch to they want what they did to you to lead the county. So when they do something, to you, they go to the screen, folks. To the screen, bro. Motherfucker going to the spitting and booties and biting ears and nose off. That shit is to the screen. They want a motherfucker to be able to say. My name. Motherfucker want to hear their name be like, oh yeah, woo, woo did this. And they had no problem with doing it. Like, baby, Bay Zoo don't never come out and just freely admit, like, yeah, little folk broke my shit. It takes one nigga to argue with him. I don't scribe for that man, snap that nigga shit on Lil B. I couldn't believe it on my daddy, because. I was, the zoo got his job wrong? Yeah. Because I zoo them, they top deck. We top, I mean they bottom deck, we top deck, right? So you know we don't come out together. We they love that we top level. So my fun never really come out together. Motherfucker just hit niggas' voices, see them on phones, shit like alright, that's match a match a face to a name, right? All right. That's how it was for me with Bay Zoo. Even though I knew who Bay Zoo was in the world, but I never really paid attention to the detail of the nigga voice, folks. The nigga voice don't match his body at all. Mm -hmm. On my daddy, folks. The you man. Think it foot, don't? It don't. Zoo? Hell. That Zoo. deep ass raspy voice he got. His yeah. voice don't match his body, folks. Okay. Have you said about Zoo in person, right? Yeah. You see how little he is? Zoo? Yeah. Baby. See Jeff Zoo? Yeah, he, he ain't no bigger than who I yeah, I'm bigger than I'm actually bigger than folks. I'm taller than him. Not muscle. No, hold on. We ain't talking about the same person then. I'm talking about baby. Bezu? Bezu. That nigga big. He big. But he not big. Right, he not tall, but. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm big. He ain't our size. We dealing the same size. Yeah. He not our size. That's what I'm saying. But when it comes to height, you would think his voice belongs on a big ass tall nigga. Yo, call. Hey, like, <laughs> you would Oh, my daddy, if you behind the door <laughs> wall. If you life. behind the door wall and you hear Bezu voice, you're. In your head, if you got a if you got a nice imagination, right, you would be like, oh yeah, this nigga at least six three, he about to kill three hundred pounds all muscle. I'm finna, okay, I'm right, gotta okay, come okay, out yeah. with the shape, right? Then he come out on let be this nigga five eight, five seven, <laughs> two hundred pounds, smoking probably, right, right, a muscle though, right, right, a little water, but but mainly muscle though, right? You get that out, that ain't the. That can't be him. What a, what a nigga who was, who I was talking to last night on the door. That <laughs> that's what I mean by that. I don't mean like oh bro. I get you. No, I hate you. Fucking nigga. Cause I'm in, my first time he and Bezu really talk. I'm in a hole. He yeah, ooh, he. Nah, I'm arguing with KT from Dog. To, I don't I don't know who he is. I just know his name KT or K, TK. KT it sounds better. So I think the nigga named KT. <laughs> oh, I did. It's because it sound, it sound like it's right, folks. So that's what I'm going to go with, what sound like it's right, folks. Oh, my did. Now, I'm arguing with him. It's me, Nut from Crazyville, Corey from STL. Motherfucker. It was a couple of us down there. We was at least like five, six deep down in the hole. Now, Bezu, I not. He on car. Oh, now, we behind the glass. We behind these doors. We in a hole. So, you know, I really don't know how the nigga... I, I know how he look like I if I see him I know oh that's baby. You see him? But 
Sin, wui, 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 ya, wui, nasa ipa sari, intur da uong ka, uong. I'm, yeah, this nigga must got big as hell. I'm this nigga voice, deep as hell. This nigga, he come out, he little, I'm all on my dick. This nigga little as hell, I'm like, I'm bigger than him. I ain't, I ain't bigger than him by weight, but height size, I got you, cool. What's up, on my daddy? What fuck you that? What it's it's that what's up moment now? My fuck you that? Oh, bitch, I thought you was big, big. What's up, bitch? On my daddy. But nah, though he was cool as hell though. I ain't, I ain't gonna make it seem like it was up between me and baby and that bitch on oh, Tuka. The first night I came in jail, DD them they catch us. DD BA, they was like five deep, motherfucking uh. Goofy ass motherfucking uh smoothy goofy ass uh Mike off the drive or my dear sister uh what they used to call his ass Damn I can't even think of what they used to call him but he he uh he Savage Squad on my daddy They over that they 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 this they day Division One me and Lil J come in on a new on took a Lil D uh Lil D and, and BA Sally's they pop right out they pop out some other nigga from Kanky Key another nigga BA it, all they do is pop open. It's like one in the morning. <laughs> I just woke up and came out the bullpen, so I ain't even fully woke. You don't know, fucking walk through the line, you know. Hurry up, get me to my deck. I'm trying to hit the mat. I'm fine. Motherfucker, we get on the deck, motherfucker, get that. Hey, oh, B, boy, that's King Lil J. Those get to get that. Doom, 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 doom. doom. Oh, took it now. We sitting in this little ass hallway in Division One. The walkway ain't no bigger than like like this. Mm -hmm. Walk walkway little as hell. Everybody out they cell. It's the middle of the night. The CEOs get in y'all cell. Baby on car, on car. Bitch going to cell. Woo, bitch on car. My son, bitch getting the cell on, on car. Woo. Now I ain't gonna lie. I be in the voice. I'm in the head. Fuck is that behind that door? <laughs> I'm on two good. I'm on, we gotta get up in my head. My fuck you now, we gotta get up off this bitch. They gonna kill us over here. We gotta, we gotta get the fuck up off here, my dad. Hold on. He on call, bitch. He get his. Did he get on bitch? Oh, David. I'm hold on. That's funny as hell. Let Jake get that. He on Joseph. He on, uh, on Joseph Coleman. Y'all know what's to me. I'm King Lil J. That don't mean shit. I'm getting that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm keeping it on two. I'm getting that. Boy, what? <laughs> boy, your ass sweet. In my head, boy, it's six niggas just came out in the hallway on us. It's me and you. <laughs> boy, that's our first night. Shut the fuck up. Um, bro, let's get in our cell on my daddy. That's how I'm thinking. Boy, shut up. Boy, let's take a nap and replenish for Bitch, we've been on pills. <laughs> <laughs> we've been on pills for three days, bitch. We've been in the station for five, bitch. Let's get in these beds. You, I'm K. Lil J. They, those get the, get the, them bitches get the bouncing up and boom, boom, do them, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. I'm. This is funny. This shit. Yeah. On car, folk. On car, get in the seat. On car, y'all fall back. And my head, I'ma fuck you that fall back to the morning. We gonna, we got these, bitch. That's how I'm thinking. Here, boy, I'm King Lil J. Woo woo. Well, you know what? All right, fuck it. I'm bro. I'm fucking. I, I see my dry towel and everything on the phone. Fuck it. We finna get whoop. Yep. <laughs> Realistically, I, I see Didi. I'm getting that. I don't took it. BA come out. BA. That, me and BA, we, 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 we know what's the world shit. So, you know, when we see each other, he. He, yeah. He on car, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Um, look at Lil J. He, oh. I'm on Toga, man. <laughs> Out of all the decks they put us on in this bitch. I'm my sister Gray. They put us on this deck. Right. BD land. Yeah. I ain't saying nothing wrong with the BDs on my day. I'd have been on a, I'd have been this on a few BD decks. Man. I'd been on a few BD decks. Mm -hmm. Look at that just with these. It's just with these BDs, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Motherfucker getting that. It ain't just BDs. It's BDs and MC. It, it, I'm, oh, yeah, we in one. We game, but this nation, this nation station. I'm getting out, yeah, motherfucker definitely finna be nation down in this bitch. I ain't worried about nothing, bitch. I'm GD, I'm my daddy, we, we good. That's how I'm thinking. But I get it, I, We saw this bitch, I'm getting that. Hold on, wait. The BDs and the malls and the, and, and the MCs got to got counter they own going on this bitch. I'm my daddy, hold on, y'all tripping. 
This some word they O T they yeah, O T F me. What? <laughs> 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 Bitch, it's 7 in the morning. Hold on, I just opened my breakfast tray. I'm, I'm biting into my apple. They tell me OTF me. <laughs> I'm out, yeah, it's finna go up in this, bitch. Let Jay get on the phone. I bite my apple, eat my part tart. Oh, fuck it, let me go and call my mama. <laughs> she, what's it, what's what, baby, we gonna come get you, woo? I mean, I, this might be my last call, man. I'm, I, my fuck finna go to the hole. <laughs> Fuck it, man. This is my last call, man. My fuck it. Go on, go to the hole. She don't worry. If you go to the hole, you gonna we got you. I'm damn. I have a call you back. Let me come and call my baby mama. I call baby mama. Man, yeah, look, man. I'm gonna fucking love you, man. She, what's wrong? Why you so? Oh shit, my fuck fat fuck around. Go to the hole, man. She, why? What's wrong? I'm shit. I'm on deck. Oh, she. Oh my daddy, that shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she you know that shit don't make it no better. I'm fucking ready to get that bitch. Really not like, damn, babe. She had me on it. I, I'm, I'm yet, I'm yet Super Dave on my daddy. That's his name, Super Dave, Lil Dave. That, I'm end up in the cell with him. Now I don't even know who my cellie is. So let me got like one of that bitch really want to sleep those. I, I don't even see who my cellie is. He and that bitch under the cover with the cover over his head like this. Mm. He sleep though. I, I think he was asleep. Type shit. Next morning, come, motherfucker, get that roll over, get out the bed, those my bustle. Oh, yeah, I gotta get out here, get on the phone, call OG. Fuck, I gotta get up out of here. <laughs> this ain't the deck to be on on my daddy. I'm getting out, hold on, she gotta come buy me out. He getting that, put his, sho his shower shoes on, I'll look on him. <laughs> Super Dave? Oh. Hey, on oh. BD, stop playing with me. I'm now on Tuga Gray. Now you know your name, Super Dave. Now whole time, <laughs> one of the foes next door, you, I, you know, you know how that shit be, motherfuckers. Next door from each other, they talking on the gallery, you know, motherfucker kicked it. So the folk hit me in that man on Tuga. Now you know your name, Super Dave. Foe buddy come popping that bitch. He tell me, oh no, foe, I knew you had a goofy ass name out there. <laughs> 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 now, look that he faking his feels. They tell me, OTF me. Now, I'm like, yeah, I'm finna get my ass whooped for sure. I done cracked a little funny old fool. They, <laughs> they finna smash me out. Even if they don't whoop Lil J, they gonna definitely whoop me. What for the crack a little funny? I done told everybody you a goofy in the world. Now they know you a goofy for real. You finna, I know y'all finna beat me. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Whole time. Bates, who come? He, I ain't gonna lie. Shorty a real player, though. I'm took a high. I'm a man before I'm anything. Shorty come here. He on call. Y'all ain't gotta bank y'all selfie, but we gonna be respectful on the deck. He on call because you see, we just did the little OTF thing. We had, they had they look whatever they did amongst themselves. But I guess they went back to to talk about the respect level because in real life, our deck was really was really on count. But when I saw the little OTF meeting, it fucked my head up because it was Fembo. Six, all type of shit one in there. They got the breeze. Bitch, we ain't even two of the breeze, bitch. Y'all from out west. Only breeze I know is from out west. I'm my daddy. Well, I ain't traveling all the way across town and being two with a nigga, fuck. Right. So in my head, I'm getting that. Why the fuck they going in there? Why breeding them in there? Because I know breed. I was just on Sycamore with Lil Reese. You know what? Well, they call it what they call it. Lil C9. Lil Sycamore. Right, 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 right. So I was just on they block. So you know, when I see the when I see Shorty walk in there, bitch, I'm getting that. Damn, I know fool them don't fuck with the breeze, but he a breed that was out there on they shit. You feel me? So his face familiar. See, I'm like, oh, well, fuck fool going in that fool. If anything, I'm thinking in my head, fool gonna come right this way. All the time, he, he shooting out, throw me for overload. It's like 15 in them, no exaggeration. On Lil B, it's like 15 motherfuckers in one, in, in, in CL Zero. So in my head, I'm getting all day. We fuck around and even make it off the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Bezu them got hooch. I got the I got the pills. Lil J got the weed. We in this bitch fucked up like we in the real world though. We kicking it. E. I ain't even know what the jail garro was. I ate my first garro with the ops. Oh, my <laughs> daddy. I'm sitting in jail eating eating the jail garro with the ops. How? 
High as hell, drunk off hooch. I don't even know what hooch is. This shit tastes like motherfucking. Uh, T the, uh, 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 TP, Taylor Port on my daddy. Who, that, that bitch in that tastes like Taylor Port on my dead sister. <laughs> no funny. The hooch really tastes like Taylor Port, though. Nah. <laughs> I'm, what the fuck is this? I'm, I'm, I'm drinking it, though. Just come on, they say it's liquor. It tastes like liquor. It burn when it go down. I'm drinking it. Legit, like, uh, he like, let me see that pill. He like, let me see one of the pills. I give it to him. He give it to Bezu. Bezu crushed that bitch up. He had to crush that bitch in at least like 15 different pieces, folks. We all was on the deck high. The whole deck was half X. We, we in that bitch busting off X, drunk off the hoot. Sound lock up, Lil Day, Super Day, goofy ass. This is my <laughs> cellar. He the pod worker, though. So you know he out late, clean the deck up, come back in. He, yeah, you got some more weed? Ooh. We blowing, we getting high. We kill him. Drink, still drinking hooch, talking shit. He come in, lock up. Now it go from a friendly, he he ha ha. Now me and me and Lil Dave and this bitch drunk, high, bust out the pills, bumping. We getting it on. Oh, my <laughs> daddy, we get it. We and this bitch getting it on on. On scrap grade, we and this bitch get it on. I ain't gonna lie, on Lil B. He dropped me on folks grade. He made me take the D. Motherfucker gotta admit, uh, uh, oh, take knee, get back up, uh, 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 he grabbed me by my head, bite my, he bite me right here. I'm, ah, bitch, you bite? Kick him in the nuts, he let me go. <laughs> well, my daddy, bitch, you gonna let me go, he, he let me I go. Kick him in the nuts. I had to. He and this bitch bite me, and you already just made me take the knee, and you go on top of that, you gonna grab me by my, my two ponytails and bite my face off. Oh, you got me fucked up, my daddy, I, Nuts, <laughs> Joe, get up off me. He fall back on the bed. I get on top of his ass. Oh, Lil B, <laughs> bite a plug off his ass. Oh, my dead sister, Super Day right now. Motherfucker see him right now, he, he black as hell. He yo, well, you, ain't, you ain't even black as hell, but your complexion on Lil B. <laughs> he got a big ass light spot right here going across his face, boy. Oh, my dead. Wow, I bit a plug out. <laughs> he on me, oh, David, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> Bitch, you got me fucked up in this bitch. You ain't never just bite me, boy. Visit the day tomorrow. We supposed to fault. Went to sleep, woke up in the morning, go on our visits on my daddy. Now I got a big ass bite mark on my face and my eye paint. <laughs> but it's not for the end like this. Well, I thought it was gonna end once I did that on my daddy. The CEO getting that. They on that wall. You know how that shit go. Motherfucker, they all cellies bumping. Motherfucker, hell is bumping. They on that walk, on that walk. Everybody on that walk, on that walk, on that walk. Ow, I get off of him. Spit his little meat, his little flesh out. It was good, though. What's <laughs> 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 that fucking? Nah, though, but I, 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 I realized I had four skin in my mouth. I spit his skin on the floor. I sit down on my bunk. The CO come past. Nah, the CO, it, it, he, he hit the little thing. Boom, through his check. He walking back past. So as the CO, he walked past how I sit. I'm sitting on the bunk like that. I'm just sitting there. Feeling, but I ain't looking towards the CO. I got my back turned towards the CO. This nigga bust me in front of the police. Damn. Bust me. I ain't gonna lie. When he bust me, I fall, hit the sink, boom. Damn. I'm dead. I wasn't expecting that. I was still, I'm, I'm still fucked up. But we ain't gonna blame it on, on the jail drugs. I'm false break. He, 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 he rock my shit. He tap my shit on my daddy. I get that up, fall to the sink. I'm, yeah, I'm, you a bitch, you gonna, I'm, you gonna swing in front of the police? He on BD, bitch, what's up? Fuck that on David. Now, I ain't gonna lie, why, Bezu on 100, he getting that on car, fall back, let that yo ass a clown on BD. Ooh, you, just, you gonna fuck the deck up. Ooh. But at that point, I'm like, fuck that, he already tied my chin. I'm my dead, it's over with. It's over with, fuck that. I ain't finna look like the innocent by standing in front of the police. It should not just think right now to this day, I just ran into one of the sheriffs. One of the sheriffs from the county. When, one of the sheriffs who, when I was telling them about the Vaughn situation in the hole, I ran into the nigga who, who escorted me, who, who, who put me in the shower. When uh, the little nigga Savage tried to spit on me, on my daddy, he gonna, yeah, I saw your interview with Cam Capone. He's like, yeah, you ain't, give me, you ain't give me a shout out. Why the fuck am I getting the CEO a shout out? How about daddy? You don't even get mentioned. In real life, you feel me? But 
the CEO, they be doing too much. And I went for the high note CEO saying, yeah, I saw MBG Butter get his ass punched on and he ain't do nothing. So I took back off on my did. Call me what you want. You fuck oh, yeah, his ass 12. He took off in front of the police. No, I got took off in front of the police and I took back off. I'm sorry, man. You know, nowadays we got a lot of uh rappers turned bloggers going on, you know, Ken Yella, FYB J Man. Soon to be me. <laughs> you know Not for real. Billionaire Black, you know, so uh we just checked out the blog and with butter. Story time from 63rd. Exactly. It looked like you you coming up next. You know what I'm saying? Tell us what made you uh want to tap into that lane and you know the future you see in it. What made me really tap into it, it was because, you know what I'm saying, I get on a lot of I get on a lot of different platforms and I tell my my story, you know what I'm saying? I bring my energy, my personality to a different platform, not saying there's nothing wrong with that. But it's nothing like having your own too at the same time, no matter what platform I can sit on and stand on and tell my story or just be me on. Ain't nothing like being on your own shit to be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know ain't nothing like when you sitting in here on your shit being you. Exactly. To be able to be you. Like today, you was able to bring your own creativity to this situation mm -hmm. that we have today. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful one too, exactly. by the way. I sure. want to let you know. Appreciate you. I appreciate the love. Love. But, yeah, and really in the near future for what I see in this is, you know what I'm saying, even if it don't go nowhere, you know what I'm saying, I still want to get the people who really do appreciate me and love me and just love me as a person. Like, oh damn, rather if you love my energy, rather if you love just like, okay, when he says something that I can relate to, whatever the case might be, I want a motherfucker to be able to feel like, hey, I can tap into what he said because I felt that. So certain shit I upload, certain shit I bring to light, it might just be just for that, that particular reason, you know what I'm saying? But I just really want everybody to have a great experience like the one that I'm experiencing when I come on platforms and come out, period. Right if it's alive or being here with y'all physically like right now. Because this shit right here, on my sister, like, I really felt at home in this bitch. We right. came in this bitch. Before we did this for y'all, we had a ball. Mm -hmm. No I'll extra bet. shit. I'll we bet. drunk, smoke, had, we did our thing. And ain't nothing like that. And it's rare that you get those type of experience from these type of experience because a lot of people who do motherfucking interviews and blog other artists and whatever the case might be, Sometimes that shit don't be genuine. Sometimes motherfucker don't show this, that, that 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 certain type of love. Like, granted, you doing your thing, right? You show love to Chirac, the rack as a whole. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say you pick no size, none of that shit, because I'm sitting right here, right, right. now, on, right. on on your platform, right. Right. and that sh and that stuff alone proves that. Ain't no size being picked when y'all come to do what y'all do. Mm -hmm. So it's genuine. Y'all want them up. Y'all want everybody to mm -hmm. experience. Because Chicago's not a bad place for mm -hmm. real, bro. It's just we have fucked up situations that occur here. Yeah. And for the motherfuckers who, when they start experiencing what we experiencing and doing what we doing, it's a beautiful thing. And I want other people who ain't able to do it to be able to do it, rather right? if they doing it with me or doing it with child or whoever they doing it with motherfuckers be like, oh well I saw it here first. Or what really made me want to do this cause I saw it, I saw woo 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 or I saw woo 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 where they, they saw me do it or saw you do it, but they saw it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's what I that, yeah. 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 And that's what we want that's what we want to do here at DJU T V is uh you know create a difference, you know what I'm saying? Because according to Chicago politics, this interview couldn't take place, you know what I'm saying? That's DJ U, he used to DJ for King Von. Mm -hmm. How he go DJ, I mean, how he go interview mm -hmm. FBG mm -hmm. Butter, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Did he, I say the same thing? You feel me, he tweaking, you know what I'm saying? But see me, personally, right? Yeah. I'm a grown ass man, you know what I mean? And before I was DJ University, I was my own man, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, what we're creating here is that 
um, boundary that others wouldn't cross. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um, when I first started out, bro, a lot of people was, you know, you know, they'd bring up Zach TV. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that, you know, when they when they when they compare me to Zach TV, I wouldn't know if I could take it as a compliment or a yeah. warning. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. But regardless, I'm like, all right, well, that shit don't mean nothing. I'm still finna do what you what I'm here to do. Because you in a way, saying? it's your calling. It's what this you what I'm here to do. to do. You feel me? So I ain't here to pick no sides. That's my little cousin over there on the camera. He GD as hell, you feel me? <laughs> this my right man hand, oh, you know what I'm saying? He's stoned to the bone, you feel me? I used to DJ for the BDs, and you know what I'm saying? But we not gang banging on here, we got Tupac behind us, for you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, you got, so, we got Drake and all type of other you know people what I'm saying? Like, as well. It, you know, but my, uh, my objective is to just cover all of Chicago, you know what I mean? So I definitely appreciate you coming to fuck with us, you feel me? I definitely appreciate you enjoying the Italian beef and Pepsi. You know what you know, I mean? Hey, my favorite. You, you hey, know the what only mean? show that I came to enjoy it on. You know what I mean? If you want done hit the next shit full. Mm. On my dick. You you give us some uh, shout outs, we're gonna wrap it up. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I you know, I wanna give a big shout out to the platform that I stand on today. And I really don't say that a lot when I come on to people's shit. I just come do my thing and go. Exactly. Whatever they promote is what they promote. But today, you know what I'm saying? My boy. We locked. <laughs> we locked. We locked. I ain't gonna lie. We locked. I came here. Folks over there read the magazine. And, 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 and I really <laughs> felt comfortable. Rough fucker really, you know what I'm saying? The environment was decent, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I can see why my favorite op came on this bitch and felt so comfortable <laughs> to be on this bitch. But that's my son, though. <laughs> he ain't even, you know, I ain't even gonna call him no op. Ain't no, ain't no smoke with, ain't no smoke with Batman. For your funny ass little boy, folks. You know what I'm saying? Big ups to his first of the month check on my daddy. But then we ain't gonna talk about that on my sister's <laughs> But I definitely appreciate you coming to rock out with us, gang. Get that. Shout out to my boy DJ Youth, man. You know, shout out to DJ Youth TV. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't really doing what you're supposed to be doing, then you ain't doing it. On my daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Show me the show me the red bone bitches with the big old titties. You sound like some country star around that motherfucker. Man, DJ UCV, FBG butter. I think it's a classic, man. I, I, this, I ain't gonna lie, this bitch a classic. I think it's a classic, man. I wish we had more time with folks on house arrest. <laughs> we, <laughs> fucking that. I ain't gonna go back to the boondocks, you guys. We gotta get him back to the crib. Gotta go go back to the boondocks. Well, shout out to Royalty Productions. And we out. Gang. DJ, you go crazy. <laughs>